I was raised on a dairy in Newcastle, and my dad was ag teacher there for 29 years. My sister and I, we, we showed cattle, and we showed lambs and hogs and dairy heifers, and every time the pickup door opened to go to a field day or an FFA activity that we could participate in as 4-H'ers, we were in it and we were gone. I did my student teaching as a junior at uh, Guthrie High School with my husband Mike, and he was hired there after that. Well, nine years later, I had a three and a half year old son, Chris, and I was eight months pregnant with Shane when I was hired at uh, Guthrie High School to be the horticulture teacher. So my adventure began then. We had lots of good times, lots of good students, and uh, lots of fond memories of uh, all of our travels. We were just so tickled that the kids could do so well, learn how to achieve and, and uh, continue to achieve in their lives then. We had some great students that were state and national public speakers, state and national career development. They went on, were state star farmers. They were valedictorians in the high school. They were outstanding freshmen and outstanding seniors in their college years. And they were definitely, you know, something that was very memorable for my family. And, you know, we even, we even have a, a young lady that's our first Oklahoma Secretary of Ag was one of our students. And uh, that's quite an achievement. But probably my greatest honor was uh, my peers in the Ag Teaching put me uh, in the Ag Teacher, Oklahoma Ag Teacher Hall of Fame. Probably my fondest memories in Ag would be, uh, you know, I had a loving husband that was a good teaching partner and my best friend. And I had two great sons that uh, both had great FFA careers. And you know, our family was what you might say, we lived and breathed FFA and, and we bled, you know, blue and gold. I had a good life. FFA was a good and a great life for my family. You know, I lost my husband to cancer, but uh, he, was, he was definitely a role model for me. My name is Shirley Stevens Hufford, and I was the first lady graduate from OSU in agriculture education and the first lady ag teacher in Oklahoma. <laughs>